Chapter one, Act 1, Chapter 3. Whatever it is, it's pissed. One odd thing about the game, this game is that the chapters and acts very greatly, seem to vary greatly in length. I don't know why. But, like, the fir earlier acts are a lot longer than the later ones. Weird. And also, I believe there's six of them, which is kind of an odd number. Well, I mean, it's an even number, but you know what I mean. Six acts or six chapters? Acts. Okay, how many uh, chapters? And the... It varies by act. Okay. Alive. But, hey, we made it out alive. <laughs> Ass hair. Oh, yeah, the vulgarity. I forgot. This... Oh, yeah, Nick... It's, it's been, like, a month since our last recording session for this game, so Nick... Nick has not... Has not, you know, recently been immersed in the rich dialogue of Bulletstorm. <laughs> this is how people in this universe talk, pretty much. Ow. That should have, like, flayed the skin off his forearms. Yeah, you think. for real. I love Ishii. <laughs> He's so cool. That's a very Asian thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> is it the most Asian way to put it? A moment of luck in a sea of misfortune. I. <laughs> oh. I can say that. It's fine. I was gonna. I was gonna say <laughs> now. Pe pe people. People who don't. People who don't know that. Who don't know your ethnicity are gonna think, man, who's this asshole just <laughs> generalizing wildly about Asians? <laughs> this guy's super rich. Oh. <laughs> oh, it, incoming. Now here's a here's some a new uh, uh, threat we're gonna be facing the flare gun, ow! Which, in addition to fucking up my shoddy controller, these flare guns do as you can see when they explode near you they can temporarily blind you. Huh. Although they're actually and also although there is actually a skill shot for killing a guy while while you're blinded. And what I'd for, what I'd forgotten at this point is that for some reason these guys are basically highly resistant. Oh, that's another uh, skill shot. Shoot, kill a man while he's on fire. Afterburner. Interesting. Yeah. And the way, like, when they're charging up to fire that flare, like, if you fire, like, into their gun, or if you fire, like, hit the flare just as it's emerging from their barrel, it'll explode and light them on fire. Huh. But what I'd forgotten is that, for some reason, the flare gun guys are, like, basically can't be, are resistant to your, uh, your leash, and I don't know why. Huh. Well, it looks like they're all, like, skin. I wonder if the leash has to grab onto something metal. Oh! Well, no, I don't think so, because later on we fight things, these things that are just these, like, nude bio-monsters, and they, they, they get leashed as well. Oh, weird. Maybe they're just, like, covered in bacon grease or something. Baby oil. Just like the, uh, wrestlers of old. Or Vaseline, maybe. <laughs> Before you before you go into battle against anyone with a dead echo leash, you just you just cover you just cover yourself in whatever lube you can find. Oil up like Hakan. Exactly. Yeah, see, Hakan Hakan would probably kick Grayson's ass. <laughs> All right. Although it's kind of a no- oh, luckily your AI companions are- can't die or anything. Yeah. Um. Did you just restart? I did. I think I restarted because I didn't want to use that take because it was so fucked up and crappy. <laughs> so, let's- let's t take a trip back in time with us. <laughs> Here we are. Some good and kind deity somewhere wants to see us pull out of this. Okay, so did I did I miss you pick up a different gun? No, I don't think so. Cuz you're using some sort of like shotgun pistol thing. I thought uh, I well, thought we, you were anyways. Well, no, well we will be acquiring a pistol shortly. Okay. More specifically, we're going to be getting one of those flare those flare guns. Nice. Well, well, actually, it's like, 
it's regular shot, it's just like a big revolver. Then the charge shot is the flare. Hmm. Okay, incoming. Here we go. Let's. My controller has seen better days, and it keeps getting jostled loose of the cord and saying it's been disconnected. <laughs> That's... And for, uh, for uh, one one criticism I will make of this game, there does not appear to be an option to turn off the vibration, the uh, you know, the rumble. Oh, weird. Which is a which is a problem because my controller, being in the rather poor shape it's in, doesn't respond well to the rumble. Hmm. Uh, now it it actually this it is kind of it's kind of irritating that you know these guys there's, you run into all these guys that aren't affected by the leash because. It's, I mean, like, the leash is, like, one of the main distinctive mechanics of the game. That, that, and it, it's just annoying that there's, you know, classes of enemies that the main mechanic of the game just doesn't apply to. When the, I mean, when that mechanic is a lot of fun, you know? Yeah. And I, I, I mean, if it was just once in a while, it'd be okay, but there's quite a few occasions in the game where you run into guys and you can't... Oh, grab. that sucks. See, because I it's was thinking, the... like, it wouldn't be... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say it would be okay if it like encouraged you to do more gunplay instead of just leashing people. Sure. But yeah, if it's happening that often, that kind of sucks. It, yeah, it gets it gets kind of annoying at times. It'd be better probably. It'd be better if you had a lot of if maybe you had fights where like unleashable guys were mixed in with you know leashable guys. Hmm. But a lot of times you fight like it's like you fight a group that's just. And I mean, like, it's not constant. It doesn't ruin the game by any means, but it does. It did seem like, um, I think it does more harm than good to the game. That is a strange design choice. They're still kickable, though. Very kickable. <laughs> Yeah, that is optimistic. There's no reason for this uh, cave to link over there. I just can't reiterate enough that I love Ishii in this game. <laughs> I, I like the fact I, I like the fact that it's in this ridiculous universe, and the main character is kind of a jackass. But then you've got like Ishii, who is just so incredibly sick of grace and shit. <laughs> How are you doing with keeping that logic code from taking over? Oh, <laughs> I'm engaged in an endless struggle to maintain dominance of my own mind. And, the, and, and of course, you know, the AI plugged into him isn't, you know, aiding his disposition at all. AI can't read it. <laughs> keep, in the seat. keep in mind, Ishii is not usually quite this. Before Sorry. he was turned into. Before he was turned into Mecha Ishii, he wasn't quite this unpersonable. <laughs> and. Because remember the uh, the AI that they had to use to replace parts of his nervous system, it's sort of like coldly survival oriented. And yeah, and when it's when it gets dominant enough, like Ishii will just become like like what well, you may recall when Ishii just picked us up by the throat and was threatening to kill us. And... What exactly are we looking at here? We're looking at a... giant eggs. I'm sure destroying them won't piss it off or anything. No. I don't know why those would explode, though. I, I don't know. Maybe they're full of, like, highly volatile gases or something. <laughs> That'd be so weird. Well, who knows how the native biology here works. <laughs> and also, I always remember, Ishii is also, I, I can't remember, I, the name of the actor escapes me at the moment, but Ishii is also the voice of uh, Shang Tsung in the, in the new Mortal Kombat. Oh, nice. Or, you know, I mean, the, you know, the, re, the reboot. Make like a Kaiser and roll. Interesting. Grayson, Grayson is the master of words here. He uh, now, it. This is one of the, you know, this is a timed segment. There are occasional time segments in this game, and none of them are too, like, unreasonable. 
time wise. And I, I, they're generally they're pretty good in that they're the time they, they're set up well in that the time is set up so that it's it's tense. I mean, you can't screw around, mm. but it's not like but it's not like you know obnoxiously restrictive so that it gets frustrating. Hmm. I mean, the first time I ever played this, I probably didn't make it in this segment a couple of times, but it's it's not unreasonable. Seems pretty guided, though. So that's that's pretty yeah. cool. I like see, I like time segments like this in games where it's pushing you forward because it does it it does have a good uh, good yeah, tension to it. Yeah. Now we're gonna grab one of these gyrocopters. Oh, nice. Luckily, it's a two-seater. Oh no, it's not. Grayson might just be hanging on. Oh yeah, it's, it's not a two-seater. It's two. It's not meant for two. <laughs> uh oh. Meanwhile. It's not, in fact, a gyrocopter built for two. No. Badly. This is a recurring motif in this game, shooting big environmental hazards to harm giant things chasing you. It seems to work. Yeah! Got it. Oh, hold on a bit. Well, that's problem solved. I'm sure we won't run into that thing again. Nope. And, and another vehicular crash in the space of about ten minutes. <laughs> Grayson's insurance must be through the roof at this point. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and of course, the whole game begins with him crashing his spaceship as well. After making a poor decision. While while drunk, keep in mind, while drunk. <laughs> he was completely wasted when he decided, let's engage the flagship of the Confederation. Alright, now that's the silhouette of a character we've heard, but have not yet seen. Oh, it's the lady, um... One of those Soldier. lady video game characters yeah. that nowadays. Those are all the rage. Now, you remember... Remember we heard on the, uh, over the radio, there was a surviving dead Echo soldier on the planet. Right. And we need to, uh, we're going to try to find her, grab her comm gear, and then grab General Serrano, who's still alive on the planet. And then we can, like, use him as, like, our, our hostage to get out, get off world. All right. Let it out. Fine. Or so goes the plan. I don't think so. Who knows what the water did to your sutures or the robotic shit. Yeah, when, when Ishii's voice gets all computery, that's when he's... Yeah, he's doing super dominant. well. We are closing in on the beacon. That final echo... Trooper is nearby. He really has beautiful, some beautiful scenery. I do appreciate that. And it's not like uh, it's something that it super shoves in your face. Like uh, other games that'll just start you staring at the thing. That way the art director doesn't yeah. get pissed off. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we picked up this pistol, right? What does this do? Yeah. The Screamer. It's a high-powered um, handgun. It's regular mode. It fires like high powered shot like slower than the rifle but individual shots are a lot more powerful hmm and then when we activate the charge shot we can fire it a flare that will explode cause it fire it'll explode set things on fire it's pretty fun nice this place is enormous who builds something like this and leave it to a gang of savages perhaps they did not leave hmm, hmm. bit of still possible clues into just what this place is, because it, I mean, there's humans running around all over the place, but it doesn't look like they have the technology, like the technology to have flown here. Great. Use the leash on it. And there's, this place clearly had a high, like a higher level of technology at some point in, in the relatively recent past. I mean, there's a city, hmm. but, but now it seems to have evolved into savagery. Area scan, multiple hostiles. Get to work. 